Welcome back to another co-op episode on Holland Surveilled with me, Celie EG, and Mr. Celie P. We're back again. <laughs> Hello. We are back again. Uh, we made some money in the last episode, didn't we? Did. Well, you we made, made a... money, it all went on yours, and then you shared it. It was very nice. How much did we make each? I'm on 109,000. It was, it was about 160 grand each, wasn't it? I ended up on like 300,000, which we then yeah. split. So, yeah, split roughly that. About 160 each. So, few changes between this ep last episode and this episode. I bought um, the cedar I'd originally bought, I got rid of, and I bought the um, one from the cavern and the DFS, and yeah, DFS, that's a furniture shop, isn't it? Yeah, that, um, nope, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> what did I go with? I can't remember what I bought in the end. Um, I'd be under my garage, wasn't it? Of course a it better was. one. I bought a better one, yeah. I got the uh, the DF2 NGS 101 F35 <sighs> from the Cavernland of Icon Equipment Pack. So that's a six metre. We were on a four metre, I think we went up to a six. A bit more yeah. expensive, but what we're doing contracts, that'll be better. I also bought an Exacta TLX Geo Spread, the same as the one that CDG's got. There's a reason for that. He's jealous What's of me. Reason? That's why. What, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's <laughs> jealousy. Not that there's any actual farming reason, is there? What was the reason? I Just forgot. Uh, possibly all the contracts available. Oh, yeah. There's a, a ton of fertilising contracts that we're going to do to earn yeah, some money. Yeah, so we money. thought what we can do is if we've both got them, we can really knock out the fertilising contracts and make a bit more money. Um, there are also an absolute load of baling contracts available. Um, yeah. Because a lot of this map is grass filled, so the baling contracts have come up a lot. But we've already done baling, we've done bale wrapping. We, you know, we did that in the last episode and the one before. So that's so going to be an off-camera thing. Yeah, we don't want to keep repeating the same jobs, do we? Really? Um, no, don't want it to be boring for you guys. So there will be an element of that, but obviously, you know, every now and again we probably will. But we're going to try and do some of those off-screen. So between this episode and the next one, we're going to try and do a bit off-camera to get our money up because we both suddenly said as well if any harvesting contracts come up and when my field 28 is ready 28 18 we haven't got a harvester <laughs> we haven't got the money to buy one either at the moment so mm -mm. we need to build up a bit uh so as far as today mods uh installed we have installed a whole load of fertilizer mods and um, because we're going to do a little bit of a test a bit of a play around with fertilizer because we're going to pick up some fertilizing contracts but we are going to look at fertilizer options but we are fully aware there are a multitude of seed and fertilizer and you know options out there in the mod hub so many there are silos and there are pallet mods and there are the the mercury farm shed pack and there's the replenishment container and there are so many different ways you can buy it we we haven't installed all of them but we are just aware the standard in-game one is fairly pricey and if we're going to start picking up fertilizer contracts what we want to do is get the fertilizer as cheaply as we can and make as much money as we can that's the offset so that's what we're going to look at doing aren't we there's so many i'm just looking at them now yeah there are an absolute <laughs> so we have installed a few of the pallet mod packs and that recent one the newest one by quiet hitman uh, yeah. what was that one the listen pallet pack was it yeah it, yeah i'm looking at it now there's yeah, a we've lot. installed that we've installed one of the pallet mods by dd mod passion um but we are also aware that up at the store here not this store the main store up the road we can buy fertilizer there so what we're going to do with both of our um fertilizer spreaders we're going to try a couple of options um i would suggest and it's just an idea at the moment but looking at the ones we've got installed if you go into um, the the menu and go to pallets, um, what did, did we install the Pioneer? Yeah, we've got the Pioneer we one as well, We have that one too. We've got the Pioneer pallet mod as well installed. So we, we are gradually, like I say, we're putting new mods in. We said we were going to be doing that. Um, I personally, for fertilizer, before this one came out with all the, um, uh, the one from Quiet Hitman, my go-to recently has been from the Pioneer pallet pack and that's fertilizer, 2,400 litres for 2,500. I personally have just found that's been a really good one to use, fairly cheap, absolutely brilliant, um, which is great. But then going and looking at this new Quiet Hitman pack, if I go across to Solid Fertilizer Palette, we can get on there a double stack, so we can get a bulk one, 
4,200 litres for 4,100. I'm trying to work out, without getting a piece of paper out, and actually working out down to the minute, which we might have to do when we come to edit. I'm trying to do it in my head on the fly, and I can't. That's either a little bit better or on a par. So it's a good option to go for. Um, so I don't know whether you want to try that one out. Which one is this? I am blind um, right now. It's if you go across the, the new lizard, until you get to the lizard ones, and you've got, like, yeah. in the store, you've got a double stack palette with the, le the lizard black band around the top of it. If you go along to where it says solid fertilizer palette, and it's 2,200, I think it yeah, is. Yeah, for 4,200. Right, if you click on that, well, that's actually not. That's 2,200 for 2,100 litres. Um, if you now go on the bit where it says capacity, you've got standard pallet, or you can go to bulk pallet, and it doubles it up. Oh. Right. So what I would suggest is because to fill your um, thing, was it 3,900 litres, isn't it? Yes. So I'm not if you, sure. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. So if you go for a double one, if you go for a bulk pallet, that's yeah. 4,100 you're going to be about 300 litres of drift. But if you buy that and you fill up from that, if you've got okay. any fertiliser left in yours, fertiliser spreader. I emptied it out. Oh, cool. So, so if you fill up from that, if you do that now, okay, you're doing that now. So if you fill up from that, I'm going to whiz up to the store with my one and I'm going to fill up my 3,900 litres. I think it's 3,900, isn't it? I'm going to fill mine up from up at the store and see what it costs me. If it works out much cheaper than that, then we're better off going up to the store and getting it. But we just thought, you know, we were talking about this earlier, and we were saying that it might not be a bad idea at some point to maybe get a test map out. It's not something I've done recently. I don't and just I've try done it. every single option and, yeah, possible. <laughs> like pick something like fertilizer, because obviously you can do seed, you can do fertilizer, manure, oh, yeah. CMR, you know, there are so many different options. But maybe pick one and just say, look, you know, let's try and work out what the very, very cheapest fertilizer option. Now, like I said before, I think on Stone Valley, the replenishment container, which came out a little while ago, we were gonna, a lot of people have said to me, use that, it is by far the cheapest option. Not as cheap as I've got it. And I think I mentioned before, when that came out, it was free. And I said, it's going to get an update, but don't tell anyone. And it got an update. Apparently, it's very, very cheap. I never updated it. So I have it as to use as for a YouTubing thing. So if I'm having to set things up or do anything or doing um, subscriber contracts, for me, I'm better off having a really, really cheap alternative, or in this case, free, so I never updated mine. The problem is, if CDG wants to use it on here, the only way we can join up together is if we've got the same mods, which would mean I would then have to update mine, which would mean I would lose the ability to have it for free. So that's one of the reasons why we haven't used that. So if people start commenting and saying, you should use the replenishment container, it's the cheapest, that's why we haven't used it. We're just going with some of the options we've got. But yeah, we did say it might not be a bad idea to do a bit of testing at some point and get a whole load of them out and see um, which is the best option, really. Yes, I filled mine up. What would you like me to do? Well, we're just going to test this first, though. So you paid 4100 didn't you? Uh, yes. So I'm going to go with fertiliser. I'm going to fill mine up and see what it costs. Mama. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, what? we won't be buying it from here. Forget it. I was expensive. I just got ripped off. What? How much? Right. You just bought 4,100 litres, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. Was it for 4,200 you just paid? Yeah. I just bought 3,900 for about 6,400 <gasps> and something. Yeah, Aww. so we won't be buying up here. It's not the cheapest alternative. So we're better off getting in pallets, definitely. And I think maybe that one at the moment is about the best. I need to work out... Oh, one on the side road again. I need to work out what the best option is going to be, whether it's between the Pioneer Pallet or that one as the cheaper option. Um, I'll do the figures off screen, and then when we come to edit this, maybe on mine I'll put a thumbs up or I'll put a little thing to say which one I worked out to be the best. Or you, if you're watching at home, you may have already done it or you may already know. Um, it's just not something If I, you're a maths genius, then... Yeah, I mean, generally <laughs> speaking, I, I use the same thing all the time. I picked one that I found was fairly cheap and went for that. 
and like I said on Stone Valley, there probably are cheaper alternatives. It's just a habit I've got into. Oh, hello. Right, so, what are we going to do? Are we going to pick one contract and do one together, or are we going to just um, take on a couple of fertilising jobs and get a couple knocked out? Uh, I think maybe do one individually, because we can get these done pretty fast on our own, We've right? 45 metres, oh, mine's set on 24. Yeah, uh, mine's set on 24, too. 45 metre spread. Um, so, let's have a look at contracts available. What one are you going to take on? Let's have a look, shall we? Um, let's go back up to the top. Oh, all the really good ones have gone, the expensive ones. Uh, all the expensive ones, the ones that pay out a lot. 5,000 for field 8, 7,000 for field 3. How big is Oh, I'm going to do field 42, because that's 6,627. How big is field 3? Oh, I'll do field 3. Wait. Yeah, I'll do I field three. I don't even three. know where field 42 is. <laughs> I don't even have to get into field three. Uh, well, we're going to have to go on a little adventure, won't we? Where are you going, field? Three. Oh, you're up the top there then. Okay, yeah. you're up and left. I'm up and right. Right at the top. Accept contract using my Five, own equipment. Uh, oh, did I accept it? I did, didn't I? Am I going mad? So done, you need to go around up the road. Straight up, don't you? Or do you need to get in the field for a I don't know how to get into this field. Uh, I think you go up the top, don't you? Oh, yes, active. Did? I think you come in from the top, don't you? No, sure. isn't there. Oh, well, I'll just have to go on a little adventure. Yeah. Adventures with CDG. <laughs> oh, you were going to talk about the, the bail unloading. A couple of people commented about different options for the bail unloading, didn't they? I get confused between the names of these bail trailers. It's oh, an okay. auto. What did I use? Auto stack or auto load? You, you used an, it's a bale collector, but yours was an auto stack rather than auto load. The auto load are the ones that do it by magic. But someone um, suggested one that doesn't actually lift. It kind the of just pushes them off the back. Yeah, From the, the Anderson, Anderson one. Yeah, we kind of went for the Ursus, and I said to use the Ursus because it was fairly new. It took 12 bales, and um, the problem was we didn't check out the Robert Ark and sell point before we decided we were going to go and sell there. So when CDG got there and found it was quite tight and the actual the cell point had a roof over it, having a, a vertical unload probably wasn't the best option. Whereas the Andersons do a horizontal unload, or kind of at an angle, but they don't um, lift all the way up. So. Oh. Yeah, this right. is not the right, right way. Oh, okay. See, off camera yesterday, when I was trying to finish off that seeding contract on Phil, what was it, seven? You had a little bit of a... Oh, what a nightmare. I, I came off the field, I had my tank on the front, Excuse I had the seed on the back. Excuse me right now, I'm just going to... What are uh -oh. you doing? You're driving through the ditch, are you? <laughs> you that, what are you doing? You're supposed to be setting a good example. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. <laughs> For people watching, you're supposed to set a good example. Oh, no, I did it! I did it. Anyway. I apologise, carry on. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, I got stuck. So I, I went to go across one of the little land bridge bits between some of the drainage ditches, um, and um. I tried to cut the corner and ended up completely straddling the ditch. So I had my cedar on the back on one bank, the front tank on the other bank, and my wheels were just spinning in the middle, and I was just stuck. And just nothing I could do. Yesterday um, was uh, not a great video. There were lots of... Well, that was on the video. That was off camera, wasn't it? That was out. Well, of, that was after we finished. Yeah. Right. Let's get this turned on. I'm at the right field. Let's get this done. So the, the you know, the thing with fertilising contracts again. If you haven't watched my Stone Valley series, if you haven't watched any any of our stuff, if you're new to this, or you know, I'm like this is for CDG as well. The thing we're doing fertiliser contracts is, generally speaking, you'll get paid more then your fertilizer costs for doing the contract. So the beauty of it is, as you do more and more of the contracts, you get to a point where you're completely negating your fertilizer costs. Because if you're getting paid so much more, um, when you start out, it doesn't always work out that way. And you might find yourself using almost all the fertilizer you've just bought to do a contract. But you will reach a point where even if you've got a little bit left each time, um, you will then end up at some point with a full tank that's cost you nothing. So it, it kind of, it all balances out really well. And on, depending on the maps, like Stone Valley, you can do some big fields 
with one tank full and get paid a massive amount of money. So you are more than covering your cost by doing fertilizing contracts and it works really well. So I'm more than happy. And like I say, this, this exactor, this thing is brilliant. I love it. It's amazing. It's, it's definitely of one of my favorite bits of equipment. I mean, there, there are, again, other fertilizer containers are available. Um, so it's not the only one that you can use. There are loads of different options. It may be you don't like a three point link mounted one. You prefer a trailed one. It may be, you know, you may find the capacity is not big enough. I like to couple it with a front tank as well, and you can really extend the range out. Um, you know, there's all sorts of ways of going about it, but this is just, um, and it's not overly expensive. It's not, I think it's, what is it, 24 grand? Was it 24, 25 grand to buy it? So. Oh, there yeah. was a way to get in here. <laughs> Have you found it? Have you, you in? Yeah, I kind of, yeah. Well, I just found the road. So we we have both noticed on this map the traffic does not stop. They're very rude. Just plow into you. Whatever you're doing, they just clonk. Oh, all right, where does um, this stop right. here? So yeah, so what we're going to do is try and make a bit more money. We are going to speed up time a little bit. Like I said, we want, want to get a few more things done. Um, I need to get some more straw bedding for the cows. I got some hay. Oh no, some hay. What did I buy the other day off camera? Oh, Timar. Went to buy some more Timar because we're not at a point now yet where we've made any ourselves. We haven't got all the resources together to make our own. No. And CDG took the spare grass I had because I wasn't using it. So Yeah, I sorted out were... my animals yesterday just to... Because obviously yeah. with the, there's no water pump now. So I just fully filled the water for the sheep. But chickens don't need um, water, do they? No. And then I sorted oh. out their food... And then I fertilised the three fields that we cut as well. So now they're fully fertilised as yep. well. I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I'm going to change my width. 24, 28, 32 maybe. Does 32 seem a bit wide for this? Let's turn it on so we get... Or is it not wide enough? That's no, bottom. So I can just adjust my width to fit the gap rather than go to... Oh no, I've missed a little bit. Oh, come on. Up to 36 then. Maybe 36 is what I should have gone with. Whoa. Should be contract complete in a minute, which is great. Um, I just want to say a big shout out to Andy. Collect. I don't know if you're watching this series. I hope you're watching this series. Um, but Andy, if you're watching, if you're not sure what Andy you are, Andy, you have a grandson called Ethan. So if you're that Andy, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching all the videos. Thank you for being a big fan. Um, Ethan reached out to me, um, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Andy, if you're watching. Big shout out. Um, oh, that was nothing we were going to talk about, weren't we? Um, you've been issued a challenge, haven't you? I have, but I, what is it? Gran Turismo, the challenge. Been it's set on, on Gran Turismo. I you've didn't been realize set a it was on Gran Turismo, but I've been set a challenge, like a time, a, a time, time challenge, challenge by Corbett. Um, Corbett's has challenged CDG. I think I might have a go at it as well. Um, using a Corvette C... I can't remember what it was now. I've got the details on my phone. Um, on Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. And he set a lap time. And he's challenged CDG to beat it. Hmm. So what we might do is we'll do a video together. It will, CDG will do the video. I'm not going to record it. I'll just come on and have a go. A bit of a bang round. Um, so what we're going to try and do... Or she might do a video on her own. I don't know. Um, let's try and beat the lap time because um, we think that would be quite interesting. So thank you for that, Corbett. Thank you for the uh, the challenge. We love a challenge. I think Silly G is Our seals are very accepted. competitive. Okay, from my mum. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't ever play games with Mrs. Silly P. She gets a little bit a little bit competitive. A little bit. Scare, scarily so sometimes. A lot. She gets very competitive. What contract are you doing now? Are you doing another uh, fertilizer? Yeah, I'm on field eight. I can't see field. where I fertilise though, so... Oh, I'm going to do field 12. Um, uh, where are we? Well, I don't even know. Like, so I keep accepting these and don't even know where the fields are. Where is Honestly, field I'm just guessing where oh, I need no. to fertilise right now, so I apologise. Oh, I'm, I'm not far from you. I'm going to be down sort of south west from you, I think. I think I might have just missed like a huge gap. Right, I need to set that back to 45 metres as well. Let's get back off there. Um, I am using my side panel again. I know people are still asking. Um, that's how I'm managing to go in and out of menus without going through the main menu. 
my side panel is plugged in and I use it all the time. I okay, someone I messaged me the other day see. saying, is this still working? Yeah, it still works on PS4 and PS4 Pro. My big concern, and it is a big concern here, is when we switch over to PS5 and the next incarnation of Farming Simulator comes out, oh, okay. will it still work? Hmm. What's up? No, I'm just going hmm, at you. Yeah, will it still work? I hope it does. Because, oh, I don't know. I'll be devastated if it stops working because I've got so used to using it. I can hardly see where I'm going right wow, now. I'm all over the road. What's going on? Um, I still find that with multiplayer, you get a little bit of delay, don't you? A little bit. Oh, I, need, I keep I keep meaning to turn down my driving sensitivity. People were saying when I did like a in between video, I was doing something. I swerved. And I crashed into like a the roundabout at the top of the map, yep. and they're like, "Oh, you should turn down your steering sensitivity." And I was like, "Oh, I'll do that." And I forgot, so I apologise. I am. Um, all right. Oh, you're behind those buildings. Just about to see you whizzing out the other side. Uh, where am I going to? Field twelve. It's down here somewhere. Um, so that contract I just did covered the cost of the third size I just bought, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure how to get to this field. That's the only downside to this map. I say downside, it actually makes it more of a challenge. It's finding the routes into all of these fields with all the drainage ditches and all the little crossings and stuff. I'm never quite sure where exactly I'm going. Uh, do I have one side of you? Yeah, there's a track that leads up here. Oh no, this is someone's yard. <laughs> oh no, there is a track that leads off. definitely not the entrance. No, no, there is a track that leads off mm. here. Go this way. Cool. So yeah, I mean, like, I, I think one of the things we we are finding and have found is that I know I've said before about you know people want to see progress and that kind of thing. It's what we want to try and achieve. But the Meadow Grove Let's Play we did as well. This is vastly different because we are both recording. When we did Meadow Grove, it was just me putting out the videos and we were playing together. So it was a co-op series. I had help, but this is co-op in a whole different way because we're both recording. Um, but I think we're just. It's more about just having fun, just coming and playing. I, I think, like I said in the last episode, it's almost like the farming is a secondary thing, you know? It's Even though we're playing Farming Simulator, it's not like the main priority for the video, you know? Yeah, it's just, we, we're just, I don't know. I, I, it's nice being on a map with somebody else, and, you know. I know I, I've had loads of people asking me again, can they play, you know, can we do multiplayer and that kind of thing. Um... I'm, I'm still, you know, I only do multiplayer with Silly G and sort of close friends, people that I know well. Um, it takes me a while to feel comfortable with people I don't know. I suppose that's when you do feel comfortable with someone you don't know, it's because you know them. That's I think what that's really. what happened when we did the few with other people. I wasn't as chatty on the videos with other people yes. because I get nervous just talking to strangers in like town or something. We're a lot older now though. When we did our first one, when we did the first, I think we, did we stream it or did we record it? Well, we, we did stream, stream time, and we? you, oh, man. it was just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a great idea doing it, but I feel like I, I would still get nervous today. Like it took me so long to start my channel because I was so nervous to just film a video when no one was even watching me, let alone. Yeah. It's a hard thing to do, to start off just talking out loud at, yeah. you know, into a mic. It feels very odd when you first start doing it. Um, yeah. You know, have you, I mean, I know a lot of people have said, you know, you've had a bit of a boost for your channel because of me. And I totally understand that. We've had that conversation before. Yeah. Have you, have you got any advice for anyone, any youngsters or anyone starting out that's saying, you know, I, you know, I might have a crack at doing my own channel? What would you say to them? I feel like you just need to do it. Send it, as I say need to do it because i feel like the idea of doing it's scary but once you get your first one done and you will even if it's only like a few subscribers they'll be nice and they'll support you and i guess yeah there will always be people supporting you you know i feel like obviously yes i've been very lucky like you just said into it because of you and I know I'm only here with the subscribers that I have because of you, you know? But, yeah. um, 
you just need to this has really helped my confidence i feel like it's like a learning experience as well but i but don't know do. yeah <laughs> the is the... Not, i think the other thing you found is not not every comment is going to be nice not every comment is, yeah. you know you've been very lucky you've, you've had you know like we said before you've had so many really nice comments a lot of support a lot of great feedback which is fantastic um but i think the other thing to get your head around is is that perseverance thing that resilience of bouncing back because i still get it now you know we've said so many times before if you do get a negative comment or someone being rude or horrible or you know it's very hard to just shrug that off it, it is a hard thing to do but you've just got to remember that generally speaking you've got far more support out there than you have negativity yeah and that's what it's, it's that human nature you need to flip that on its head and say to yourself i need to focus on the support not the negativity I, yeah um, i just feel like no. you've got no, to stop saying like as well haven't you oh yeah someone <laughs> commented that on my video the, uh, the other day I don't know where I'm going. That's, uh, just, a, that's just a Ute thing, isn't it? You. Utes. I need to go on the main road. Okay, I went the wrong way. Um, you just need to be positive and stay in a positive mindset and have a growth mindset as well, knowing that Whoa, if you it's put. like a school teacher. I Whoa. know. Just like. Oh, I keep saying it. Um. That's just yeah, but the thing is, when, when when that comment was left about you using the word like out of context, that's just keep you know. I had that when I worked at the school. Oh, every other word out of children's mouths is like, like this. Like, and I used to laugh and say, what's it like? And they go, what? So that's the point. But that's just a, that's just a youth thing, isn't it? That's not a... I think... You know, it is annoying. It is. You just need to have a growth mindset and know that if you put time and effort into your channel, it will slowly grow and progress. It might take it, time, but it, it will happen. It does take time. Yeah, yeah, it does take time. Um, you know, and it's just keep plugging away, keep putting that content out there. You know, as long as you enjoy it, you're having fun. Oh, there she comes. That. Oh, hey, Moss. how y'all doing? <laughs> you're going to stop in front of that lorry now, aren't you? What? No, I'm Ooh. going to field 51, I'm trying to find my way there. Are oh, you going to do some more? Are you? Yeah. Um, right, I'm going to stop fertilising. I'm going to go and grab my trailer and go and buy some straw because I need to okay. put some bedding in, and we I haven't got any straw yet, so I'm going to go and buy some loose. Oh, and uh, you need to I... know that, like, oh, <laughs> 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 um, talking and driving at the same time. Uh, what was I saying? I was, oh, I was I gonna say something about negative comments. Um, you were saying, whoa, that's what you were saying. Uh, it's gone. The thing that I wanted to say was it's gone. About, you were talking about growth mindset and resilience and all that kind of stuff. And Don't I know it's hard hearing it from other people because happens to myself i didn't do it my comments weren't the best on my fortnite video and it wasn't everyone's favorites and only like there were only a few negative comments but i did take them to heart but i think it just comes with practice that you just need to move on from them yeah yeah you do but uh, yeah it's, it's hard i mean you, we've had this conversation before you know and we've had it out loud i mean this is more kind of aimed at as well i just wanted to, i wanted to see what your take was on it because I've had a lot of people in, you know, since the game was free on PlayStation uh, Plus. Yeah. The amount of people saying, you know, I'm thinking of starting my own channel, or the amount of people that say, I've been inspired to watching you, watching CDG, you know, what should I do? How should I go about it? You know, it's a difficult thing because there's no right or wrong way. It's taken me nearly, what we are, nearly five years to, at this point. Yeah. You know, when people say, can you teach me how to edit on Share Factory? I'll be honest, man, it's taken me five years to get to this point, and I still don't get it right every time. I still make mistakes. I'm still not using the editing software to its full full capacity. There's stiff, stuff on there I don't use. Um, yeah. One, because I don't know how to, and a lot of times because I don't need to for what I'm doing. I don't um, know it's going. about trying. You know, just get on there, have a go, have a play around with it. It takes a long time. But there are loads of videos out there. There's loads of people that have put content out there for Share Factory, and I did consider doing some videos on it, but I'll be honest, at the moment, I am so snowed under with everything we're doing. Um, someone did say Where to me the other day, I? I really should start doing more PC uh, map tours because PC are dropping maps like nobody's business. Again, great idea in theory. My subscriber oh. base doesn't like it very much at all. Plus, there are so many maps being dropped my entire time would be taken up just doing map tours 
Um, I, I just don't, I don't have the hours in the day to do mod reviews, map tours, let's plays. Uh, you know, snow runners on the back burner. I just I just haven't had the time. Yeah. I just I can't seem to get on it. Every single time I think, oh, you know, I'll get onto that. I do some more recording, I do some more editing, or they drop mods, or you know, I, I just haven't got onto it. And I apologise to all the people that love the snow runner stuff. I love playing it, but I'm just unfortunately. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find my way to Field 51. Um, as like a teenager, and especially a girl, I was so nervous to bring out a Fortnite video because I watch TikTok and a lot of streamers or people recording videos now post like little clips from their videos or from their stream oh. on TikTok. And there's been a few times that um, one of these women that I see pop up all the time, as soon as she joins a game and she says hi, being just as good as everyone else the boys start hating on her yeah. like straight away and so I felt like I was very nervous because of that but someone actually commented on I don't know what video it was of mine saying there was a girl out there that I should go check out because she's kind of just like me so oh where am I going I don't know where I'm going right now it's not going to plan um wow Definitely adventures with CLEG. Spent like 10 minutes trying to find one map per field. <laughs> Is there going to be a fence here? Can I just go through this tree line? CLEG's magical mystery tour. Have you not found a proper route through? You're just going through the trees. Oh, and there's a thing on the other side. Good luck. Okay, I forgot. I got actually. It's not the proper route, but. Oh, so when you go around the field on your first go round, you should be able to find the way out next time, shouldn't you? Yeah, I've already found the way out. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. Right, no, I wasn't sure. When when you bought straw for me, yes. did you come up to the bar gas plant when we've got the buy anything silo, or did you go up to the main store? I think you told me to go to the buy anything silo, at the yeah. bio gas plant. Um, yep. Yeah, buy a load of straw. Something smells really good. Who's oh, cooking right now? Oh, you're being charged for it. Oh! Let me know how much it costs. <laughs> it, it won't be a lot, I don't think, so... I'm going to buy a full 30,000 or 31 as it this holds 31. How much was that? 1,398. It's fine. Don't no. worry. Yeah. Oh, no. I've got to pay you. Otherwise, people will be angry no, but with me. Something... Taking advantage. <laughs> you know when I'm transferring money to you? Yeah. I kind of round it because you can't do, like, individual, like, euros. You can go What's from hundreds and stuff. 1,300 or what? Something. But someone noticed they're like, I'm short changing you. Oh, thanks. No worries. <laughs> but someone brought that up on the comments the other day. I was like, Pay my bills, don't worry about it. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, thank you to Jan as well. Uh, Jan sent a donation through my PayPal. <laughs> Um, I, I said thank you, and then Jan messaged me back and said, you do realise that's for CDG, not for you? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a donation for you, so. It's the second one you've had to dinner, aren't you? I am. Very lucky. I appreciate it very much. What did you do with it immediately? Let's not talk about that. What did you do with it immediately? No. <laughs> um... <laughs> she bought Chinese. She bought Chinese I, food with it. I have an unhealthy obsession with Chinese food, okay? You do? I'm just going to say it. I've already spoken about this. Why are you trying to out me like this? <laughs> <laughs> out, out you or at you? I don't know. I saw this young person lingo. At and you is a Twitter thing, isn't it? I know, I'm, on, I'm on Twitter, so if you put at... Oh, honestly, you're... I don't even know the difference. Outing and atting. I thought, oh no, it doesn't matter. I thought outing was, well, that's probably just me growing up, was something completely different. But I suppose it's you kids, I don't know. Oh, right, well. Oh, another field done. Took me forever to find the field. You are knocking these out of the park, aren't you? So yeah, we'll, we'll probably do a bailing one off camera or a couple of bailing ones. So potentially we can have a load more money before the next episode. We were thinking about my cow pasture because we've got a load of grass in that cow pasture. Um, maybe doing the same with that off camera, doing a load of baling on the cow pasture. 
avoiding the cows, obviously. We don't want to cause them any uh, unnecessary duress. Definitely not. Do I hear a farm dog crying in the background because he's going to the vets now, or am I imagining that? Oh yeah, that? he's going to the vets, isn't he? He's been licking his paws a lot, and we're worried there's something wrong, so rang the vets. We checked him over. There's nothing wrong with his paws. There's no blisters or marks. put a cone on his head, and he has been miserable oh. all morning. Yeah, as soon as you put the cone on, he just stops and stands there. When I mean, to be fair, yeah, go on. He had a cone see. ages ago. Um, when I, well, I don't even. It know was not long after we got him. We first had him snipped because we didn't yeah. want to have any, you know, puppies. <laughs> puppies. So we had him snipped, and he had to have a cone because they don't want him to lick the wounds and that. But kind it of was thing. during like winter, so it was snowing, and every time we went into the garden, he would be like flicking, like <laughs> collecting snow in his cone. So he you had to, it so and he kept funny. breaking it. So you have put oh. loads of cable ties <laughs> to hold I, it together. I, I thought I'm not buying another. I'm not buying another cone. So it was like a plasticky type one. So I was using a hole punch. And I was putting little holes in it, and then using cable ties to fix the bits that are broken. Because he kept cracking it and splitting it. And by the time he eventually was down to take it off, this thing was held together mostly with cable ties. It was the only thing holding this thing up. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, but yeah, he just kept scooping the snow up every time we went out in the garden and he couldn't understand why it was all over him. Poor little thing. He was only a little pup then, wasn't he, to be fair? He was... Right, let's get this straw in. And that'll be the other job I wanted to get done today. Where are you? Um, field now, this lifts up, so I've got to be careful because I'm going to hit the roof otherwise. Why am I blind? So, oh, I just went past it. Okay. Um... Let's accept that contract. Oh, is that what? Oh no, you've got to be kidding! I bought all of that, and it only used ten thousand liters. Oh. Tipeekla. Uh, yeah. So I do need to clean them out again, but and we're all right now again. Top mix rations up there in the green. Water's in the green. Straw is in the green. Uh, we've got some milk. We've got some slurry. We've got some meal. But weirdly, one well, here. Let's jump out. This point over here that I could never work out what it was for, that's where the manure is piling up. But I don't know how I'm going to get in here to get it. Oh, I just drove past it. Wait, is this the field? Because that doesn't open, that goes out to the milk pile a bit. Right, that's field 39. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get this out. Hello? I'm I'm not so really paying sure. attention. What about here? Can I get in through here? Um. Oh no, the entrance is there. Ignore me. I am wondering, you know, whether or not what I could do. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I've got no, an idea. that's not the entrance either. Oh, the entrance is right there. Oh. Oh no. I'm so blind. I apologise. Got stuck on the wall. Oh come on. Oh, this is great. <laughs> no. I'm stuck. I'm gonna get out of this no matter what I do. No, 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 not doing that, I'm not. Question for the viewers. I have a question. Someone commented oh. the other day saying that they've noticed the drop in views in our videos, and so have we. So there's loads of reasons that could be, right? Do you agree, Mr. Yep. CDP? So obviously, oh, yeah. now, unlike Meadow, Meadow Grove, it was just on your channel, and now obviously the views are split. Yeah. But is there anything in particular that you guys want to see? Is it because we've dropped seasons? Is it you don't like the map? Uh, what else could it be? Um, yeah, they did, they did plummet when we were we were getting fairly good yeah. views initially, and, out and nowhere. then yesterday's was yesterday's just plummeted, didn't it? Is there anything in particular you want to see? Like, let us know. We want to make some quality content for you guys, so. You know. Could get you. You sound like a YouTuber. That's amazing. Well, it's true, though. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is, because I've got way too much straw, I'm going to cruise control on. I'm going to unload here. And what I'm going to do is, whizz across the field, unload this. I'm going to come across with the baler, and I'm going to bale all this loose straw up into um, straw bales. I don't want to have a huge pile of straw sitting somewhere in one of the buildings, so what I think is going to be easier, if I bale it, and then I'll collect the bales up and I'll store the bales, um, that's what I'm going to do. It does mean that I might have to buy a bale shredder at some point, but we are going to need to get a feed mixer at some point anyway. Yes. 
Uh, field day six. Where is that? Keep going on to the wrong screen. Uh, there you are. How do I get there though? It's gonna be a mess. I can already feel it. Um, you still fertilizing, eh? Yeah. Sorry, there's gonna be no fertilizing jobs left for you. No, that's right. It's fine. So the thing is, when we get onto jobs like um, uh -oh. planting, Whoa. if Sorry. we need to cultivate a field and then plant or fertilize and plant or harvesting contracts as well, we're both going to be on the fields together because we're going to be doing a harvesting yeah. operation. One will be harvesting, one will be lying, loading and delivering, you know. So obviously at the moment, some of the jobs we're doing, we're not together all the time. That's just unfortunately the way it's going to be for a little while. Um, but like we say, we are going to sort a few things out. Nope, this is someone's driveway. Um, <laughs> let's back it up. How do I don't know how I get to half of these fields. Um, let's, let's get this baler. Park up somewhere. Yeah, the baler's mine. The baler wrapper I bought, didn't I? Yeah, you bought that. Someone How did comment and say there? the reason why I didn't get paid for the bales when we delivered them was because it was your baler. But it's not, it's mine. Are these dirt lines paths or the trench things? What dirt lines? I need to get to field 36, but I don't actually know how to get there. Let's have a look on the map. Uh, da, da, da. Field 36, where is field 36? <sighs> It's kind of like... Oh, yeah, gotcha. Um, I would say, if you come in... Yeah, the road you're on now... Yeah. If you carry straight on... Yeah. You'll go past two more houses on your left. You're going to fill 36, you say? Yeah. Yeah. So there'll be two houses on your left, and then I think there's a dirt track that runs off to your left between fields 35 and 37. Oh, okay. I, th I think that's what it looks like on the map. If you zoom in... Um, it kind of looks like that. So two houses... Two houses on your left. And two, and then a thing. And then you should have a little track between field 35 and 37. So just come up now on your left. Oh, you are a G. All right. Thanks, my dude. <laughs> no worries. Oh, I keep forgetting his name, but he always posts like sup at the start of his comment. So oh, I always yeah, put I sup dude, and I respond back because that's like I always say sup dude, don't I? You do. I just love that comment. It just makes me smile. <laughs> I just love and reading the comments. It just There's plenty great. of people that keep putting smash that like button, my dudes, as well. That's become smash a thing, that like too. button. I love seeing that. Go smash that like button. <laughs> Pop that down. Um, it's going to go fairly slow across here because I've got quite a lot of straw, I think. Yep. But that's not a problem. And then what I'll do is I'll collect it and store it. I've got my, um, hang on a minute. Um, why is that? Oh, did you have grass left in this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, because the bale that's just came out, the first one that came out was, um, there was, it was grass, so it's wrapped. I might oh. have got a size bale. Hang on a minute, that's weird. Why has that done that? It missed a load. I thought it was supposed to slow down, so it doesn't miss any. Oh, okay, I'll go back and get that bit in a minute. Yeah, so I'll just wrap all these. I'll wrap all these, collect all these, and I'll put them in storage out of the way. The bales will take up far less room than if we, um, if I had a massive pile of straw, so. That's She's fertilising again, are you? Yeah, I'm good. This is going to be my last one, and then I will. What are you up to financially? 215,000. What? 704 euros. Blimey, man. I'm making that 100, money. 122. <laughs> I think yeah, but you are to... buying stuff, aren't you? I need the cultivator, don't I? I might do that now. Oh, Just yeah, so we, we installed, it. didn't we? We said we were going to. We installed and uh, we got the lizard cultivator and the lizard subsoiler. So we've got them both. You're going to buy the cultivator, I'm going to buy the subsoiler. So that gives yeah. us the option to plough, but if we want to pick up cultivating contracts, we can. I'm going so to do that really now. Whilst I, I think what I might time. do off screen, I might do a load of baling, I think. I might do some more silage bale stuff. Yeah, I might do that as well. Make myself a bit more money. Because we're going to need a harvester at some point as well. 
so. I am changing this tractor out. I want to change out this Veltra, and I've already decided what tractor I want to get. I went to do it the other day, and I didn't have enough money with selling this and buying the new one. Or I not feel enough bad, it would leave though, me any. because I, as you were checking that because you wanted to sell your voucher, I noticed that ours are the exact same, but mine's just the cow edition, so I apologise. I didn't realise. Well, I'm, I'm not getting rid of it because I of that. No, 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 don't be dark, it's fine. I like your new telehandler, though. Oh, the scorpion, I love it. Right, let's raise that, turn that off, close it, put that away. I'm going to whiz off and sell that silage bale and then the straw bales I will collect and we'll put those away. And then if I've got some, but like I say, I'm going to have to probably have to shred those to get it to work. I think, I think it was Big Poppacy, I think he recommended or suggested that we cut down the two trees by the bale, the selling bale point, I forgot what it was called. We would only be able to do that if we own the land, we can't, we can't cut oh, them down yeah. if we own the land. But, well, yeah, we could do, I guess, if we bought the land, cut them down, and then sold the land back, maybe. It's an option. It certainly is. Yes, if what I'll do is, if I do a contract on my own for, for um, bale wrapping, I'll do what I've done before, and I'll use this baler, but I'll just use the front mower. So I'll run the front mower and this baler on the back, and, yes, I'm only cutting on a narrower swath. Well, actually, no, I could, couldn't I? I could run it as a triple. I oh know you can't do that as a triple cell, can you? That particular one, the Vike, the um, Gavona one. Uh, but yeah, I, so I could just run the front mower and that, and it'll take me a bit longer. But it does mean I'm doing the whole lot in one go again. I would be mowing, collecting, wrapping, bailing, and wrapping all in one go. Anyway, sorry. Doing I'm it just all. Gonna, I've just uh, washed my tractor. Well done. <laughs> Needs to be done, doesn't it? Got to be clean and tidy. Yeah. I'm now thinking in my head, what's my thumbnail going to be? Alright, I'm just going to fill up my fertiliser with the ones I just dumped for now, and then next time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use that lizard's palette th um, pack for the yeah. next one I buy. Um, and then like I say, I'll do some figures, I'll work out some figures off screen and we'll work out some... Just because one's 2,000... Is it 2,100 for 2,000... No, 2,500 to buy for 2,100 litres. And the other one up. was something else. <laughs> oh, well, I'll do it off-screen, it'll be alright. One ended uh, up outside the fence. Don't know what? what happened. One of the fertiliser bags ended up oh, it's still outside the fence, I didn't use all of it. Oops. Did you unload? Yeah. Oh, well, that's why. It often does that. Alright, let's buy often. the cultivator. Whilst I remember, all mods will be in my description, don't forget. Oh, you um, bought it, have you? I'm buying it now, just so I don't forget. Uh, 7,000. Pretty decent. Uh, yeah, buy. it's not bad, is it? Six metre for that sort of money. It's pretty cool. Brought it. I don't think I have any space at the moment for this. Can I take both the fertiliser and the cultivator back to my farm, or is that not a thing? Whoa! One minute, 46 seconds left. Yeah, you can. If you if you hook the... the um cultivator on the front on your three point and fold it up and then put your fertilizer spreader on the back yeah I mean your visibility in real life wouldn't be that great but you can do it you'll get away oh. with it did I put this to whoa am I I'm on the wrong side am I on the wrong side no I'm not <laughs> sorry so potentially next episode if we've made enough money what we might do is buy a field another there field we go. Um, so we might do some field prep on another field. I'm thinking maybe so that might not be a bad idea. Um, so we're going to do a bit of work off screen too, and uh, I may well do a bit more. Um, like I say, might do a bit more silage bay. I'm going to take this up to. Ro I assume Robert Arkin is still the best price at the moment, but that's closest. That's what I'm going to take it to. Be careful! I have a cultivator. No, on fold the it up. Oh, you can't fold that one, can no. you? Oh wait. <gasps> you. <laughs> Why didn't it come like that though? It doesn't always fold it up. Have a bit of common decency to fellow road users. Blind. I didn't know. You didn't tell me. You I know said, these things. I said put it on the front and fold but it up. But most cultivators come folded. Why didn't that come folded? I don't know. I don't that bombshell. Oh. It's time to end. We're there again. We're at the end We're of done. the episode. I'm sorry, my dudes. Another episode done. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have. Smash that like button, my dudes. <laughs> yeah. 
if you don't subscribe yet please do to both of us links will be in each other's videos um if you want to comment feel free and if you want to share either video please be our guests whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching thanks for watching see you on the next one <laughs>